Hey y'all, this is That Tijuana, and as always, I had a fabulous week. I hope you got out and about and took advantage of some of the wonderful things we have going on right here in the metro. But if you did it for whatever reason, don't worry about it, because as long as I'm there, you are there. This week was all about back to school. I attended a fashion show and a back to school bash that I'm sure helped teachers, students, moms, and dads get ready for the big day. The Fortress Fashion Show showcased fashion through the decades. The event got underway with vendors representing the beauty and fashion industry as well as gift bags for all. Gift bags for everyone, now that was a very nice touch, almost unheard of. Plus plus for Fortress. Once the fashion show began, it displayed fashions from the entire 20th century, but with a modern day twist. My favorite decade that they revisited was the 80s. Talk about a blast from the past. I mean, punk rock hairdos, leg warmers, and off the shoulder shirts. Now I'm sure Boy George, Madonna, and Cindy Lauper would have been proud. Now, as cute as all of the models were, I just have to name one as Columbia's next top model. And that is none other than Little Miss Madison Avenue. Every time she came out, she stopped the show with her back to school swagger. Now you go girl, your mom named you just right, because I'm sure we're gonna be seeing you in the Big Apple. Now that we know what to wear, let's talk about everything else. The Tom Jordan Morning Show made its third stop in the Metro to help us send our students back to school, not only in high fashion, but with high esteem as well. Will Green and Chris Caleb gave away almost 75 free haircuts. Now talk about some happy parents. But school supplies and haircuts were just the tip of the iceberg. The TJMS Back to School Bash was full of local and national entertainment. There were performances by Urban Mystic, that cutie patootie Calvin Richardson, Erica Kane, and Cupid. But the showstopper was from right here in the metro, the Logan Elementary School Steel Band. As you can see, these students absolutely rocked the house with their performance. And the best part, they had such a great time doing it. And remember, you can follow Tijuana Weekly on her blog at thattijuana.com.